I'm Stoic Dan. The reason why we have three major Stoics that we study from the first and second centuries is because their works survived history. In chronological order, the first is Seneca, born about the year 4 BC and lived until 65 AD. His works, as we call them today, are the Dialogues of Seneca and Letters from a Stoic. And Letters from the Stoic has 124 letters, very readable, very easy to understand. Epictetus, born about the year 55 and lived until 135. His works, as we call them today, are the Discourses of Epictetus and the Enchiridion. By the way, Enchiridion means the handbook, as it translates. And uh, it has 52 paragraphs, a very slim guide, but a very wise book. And Marcus Aurelius, who was born in 121 and died in 180 AD, his book was really his own diary, which we call today the Meditations, and it has 12 books or chapters. There were other Stoics in history, like Zeno, Cleanthes, and Chrysippus, and we know about them even though their works have been lost in history. Uh, we know about them because their works have been mentioned in other works. In general, Stoicism helps us improve our lives, in part by dealing with difficulties that come up. And I'm going to read to you from Seneca in Letters 59. Seneca says, Now examine yourself. If you are never sad, if no hope disturbs your mind with anticipation of the future, if by day and night the condition of your spirit is even and unvarying, alert and happy with itself, then you have reached the high point of human good. Thanks for watching.